Hey folks, Edgar B. Herwick III here from GBH's Curiosity Desk, where you ask questions and I find answers. Today we are in Lexington, Massachusetts, just a stone's throw from Hanscom Air Force Base, which is at the center of a little controversy that Maria Q is hoping that we can bring to a resolution. Living this close to Hanscom means that planes taking off and landing have long been a part of Maria's life, but it is something else that she regularly hears emanating from the bass that led her to us, the sound of music. Oh, you hear revelry in the morning. Yeah. You hear taps at night. And is it a full band playing it? Is it a single bugle? Oh, it sounds, like, it sounds like a bugle. And for years, Maria has been convinced that what she hears is the work of a live musician. In your head, what are you picturing happening on the bass? Is I it picture... Like it's, it's like a man or a woman in yeah, uniform. Yeah, a man or a woman in uniform. Silhouetted against yeah. the sky. <laughs> With their bugle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's what it has to be. But a friend of hers isn't so sure. And it's become a bit of a thing between them. He just thinks it's a recording and I don't think it's a recording. Mm. So it's not like this big contentious thing, but... But you, you are definitely on yeah. opposite ends of this. Yeah, he calls it Buglegate. So Maria decided to call in the heavy artillery, so to speak, which in this case is us. We hopped in the car and took the short drive over to Hanscom, a military installation where more than 10,000 people live and or work. So we have arrived here at Hanscom Air Force Base and we're gonna meet up with the command chief who's gonna help us get to the bottom of things. Now Maria is certain that Reveille and Taps are among the bugle calls she hears, but she mentioned others as well. So our first order of business is to establish what gets played here, when it gets played, and how often. We quickly learned that at Hanscom, just like it is at nearly all military installations, the same calls are sounded on a strict Monday through Friday schedule. Every morning at 06.30 a.m., Reveille is played, but it is a bugle call, um, followed by another bugle song called To the Colors. And so that signifies the official start of the duty day. Reveille should be familiar as a wake-up call to just about anyone who's seen a military movie. Like most of our military bugle calls, it's actually a French tune. In fact, the word Reveille literally means wake up in French. Now, To the Colors is also a French tune, though the version used today replaced the original French melody in the 1870s. It was originally a call for soldiers to assemble in formation around a battle flag, hence the name, but today, it's more symbolic. That's the whole purpose of that song is to honor a nation. At precisely 5 p.m., the end of the duty day is marked with a bugle call named Retreat, followed by the national anthem. Retreat is French yet again, officially composed in the early 1800s, but the basic melody stretches all the way back to the Crusades. When you hear that, you'll, you'll stop and, and kind of face the music or the flag. And then once the national anthem plays, service members will salute the flag. Then at 9 p.m. comes the traditional quiet hour signal, TAPS. Now, TAPS has been the military's lights out tune since the Civil War, when a Union general named Daniel Butterfield adapted it to replace a lights out call that he hated. That name, TAPS, refers to three distinct drum taps that once followed the call as a signal to extinguish the lights. Taps took on a deeper meaning as it was played at memorial services and funerals of fallen soldiers. It's a little more of a somber feeling because it, it signifies quiet hours, but at the same time, it honors our men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, the big question is, okay. is this happening live? Is there a man or a woman or is there, is there a service person atop a hill as the sun is rising? with a bugle, or is this all done by recording? So in the mid-1940s... And so, with answers in hand, I returned to Maria's. I killed some time explaining about the tunes and their timing, and then it was time to put an end to Buglegate. And they are played each day by a recording. Oh, no! Oh. I know. Shoot me. Yes, the calls are, in fact, recordings, programmed into an automated system run by a pretty basic looking computer in a windowless room. They're played over six loudspeakers mounted atop towers around the base, which are referred to collectively as the genuinely cool sounding giant voice. And that's how it is on nearly all military installations these days. Now there is a silver lining here, Maria. I mean, you would have to move, but there are two places where live buglers still do their thing each day. 
the U.S. Marine Barracks in Washington, D.C., and the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and perhaps most importantly, let me know what you are curious about, because as you can see, I might just look into it for you. I'm Edgar B. Herwick III. Stay curious out there. Just like it sounds at Hanscom. And also, this is a trumpet, it's not a bugle. The Curiosity Desk is sponsored by Emerson College, inspiring curiosity and creative expression in all of us.